In this tutorial, I'll show you how to use the dynamic captions feature in Camtasia 2024. Welcome to this video. My name is David and I hope you're well wherever you are around the world. Now, the dynamic captions feature in Camtasia 2024 is a new addition and a highly welcome addition after years of asking for such a feature in Camtasia. Now, is how you use it. I'm going to import a video. Say I import this particular video. It's a vertical video. Uh, and I can actually just drag and drop it right there. Now, to use the dynamic captions feature, you need to click on captions. If you cannot see the captions option, you can click on more and it's going to be somewhere here. So I'll click on captions. And on Windows, there's this particular option for the CC, that is closed captions, where you can actually sync captions, import captions, export captions, or use the new speech to text feature. Uh, they've added uh, some new AI. Now, to use the dynamic captions, just click on this particular uh, icon here and you'll see dynamic caption style. So there's Arial 2, Bangas, and so on and so forth. There should be about eight, but because I've created my own, it should be somewhere here, my default style, and you'll see it with like uh, a talking, a, a small uh, user head here and so on and so forth. But these are the styles available at the time of recording this video and hopefully in future they'll add some more. We also have the option for dynamic caption script. So this is how it works. One, generate captions. You drag a caption style onto the timeline to generate dynamic captions based on the audio. So if I actually get a style here, drag and drop it right here. It's going to auto generate captions for this uh, particular video. Next up, to view and edit the captions, select the audio media on the timeline and edit the captions here. It supports a ton of languages, but they have not specified what languages are supported. I wish they did, but I've seen people try it in Spanish, it's working, German, it's working, uh, but I cannot comment so much on that. Now, let's add the dynamic captions. Let's say we go with this particular style. And if you actually hover over any style, you'll see uh, what it looks like. And you can actually mark it as a favorite from right here. Uh, but let's just drag and drop this particular style. Once I drop it, see my media right here, it's going to spin. It's automatically transcribing and adding my dynamic captions to the timeline. If I actually pull this back here, it's already done. Let's actually feed to the timeline. And if I play this, in this video, we can see that everything is out of place. So what I can do is just pull this box like that and then pull this box like this so that we can actually have everything available. So. In this video, I'll show you how to add captions to your social media videos, TikToks, Reels, super fast. It looks really good out of the box. It's awesome. Uh, but now, what you need to know is, as I've mentioned, if you want to edit a word, you need to click on the audio. Once you click on it, you can just come and click on it inside here. I find this to be extremely rudimentary because if you wanted to adjust uh, like the positioning of the word when it said it's really going to be a headache. And somehow that's why I've always said they should have used the CC option because the closed captions actually have different blocks that you can actually work with and then we can style those and move easily. Uh, so let's say we say we just make that edit, click outside and it changes automatically. And I believe it should actually change for any other section where that particular word happens. Uh, in your video. Now, that is that. If I click on the dynamic captions and go to the properties on the right, you'll see uh, whatever it is uh, that is being used. But of importance to us here is this particular text properties option. You'll see this is what we have. You can set whatever font you want because the good thing with this is that uh, you can now save the presets uh, like you've seen what I've saved there. So. Uh, let's actually just skip that particular uh, font section and then scroll down and they've added the strokes uh, in text and then we have the option for dynamic caption. The highlight is off or powered. If I click off, it goes away and you'll see everything is turned off. But let's uh, leave it as powered and then scroll down. Let's say the stroke color to be something like that and it changes in real time such that everything reflects all those changes that you're making. 
And if we scroll down, you have word opacity for future and past. So if you have uh, uh, like a couple of words here, you can make them slightly opaque so that uh, once they come on, they bring in a different effect. And then we've got the option for word background. You can actually adjust the opacity here to get, uh, let's see, we go with a black one to get some opaque background. Uh, that would be really awesome. You can also scale it to where you want it to be. You can also have it have a radius to round off the edges uh, and different options. But actually not keep all this. Let's just reset and then scroll down slightly. You can set in the easing of how easy it comes in. We can also have a scale of how big do you want uh, your kind of wires to be. Uh, do you want it to glow? Uh, you can see the glow options available here. And then uh, there's also a block kind of background here. If uh, let's say, uh, let's say we go with one, let's say we go with black. And then just increase the opacity. And the block is this particular section where the subtitles kind of appear. You can change the radius as well. And also you can have transition from one subtitle to the other. Uh, let's say we go with diamonds. And if I go back to the start, you can already see it's happening. If In I this video, I'll show you how to add captions to your... You can see different diamonds uh, going on there. Uh, so I'm not so much into the transitions, but they're highly welcome additions in uh, Camtasia for the dynamic caption. Now, let's assume you've created these as your own style or maybe some branding or so on and so forth or reusable for different clients. Then you can actually go up here. This plus, once you click on it, it actually saves it and you can see a small user head right here. And you can see the other one that I created somewhere right here and I called it my default style. I wish it was possible to actually be, uh, be able to save uh, or rename this particular style in Windows. I've seen it's available on Mac, but because it's not available on Windows, you can just come to this style that you've created, right click on it and rename. Let's say uh, client one. So you have client one and anytime that you have a kind of project uh, right inside here, let's say Actually, move this and get some media. Let's get some media inside here. Um, let's say we drag and drop this video somewhere here. And then go to captions. And then we go to client one. Let's just put it here. It starts transcribing and appending our uh, captions right there. Let's just bring this back. Uh, the orientations are a little bit different. So it's going to be a little bit hectic here. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to use the scripts. But you can see how everything works. If I click on this, you'll see uh, the captions uh, for this particular uh, video right inside here. So you can easily reuse that super, super fast uh, inside here. Now, something else I like about the dynamic captions feature is that you can use more than one uh, dynamic caption style. So let's say we have this one that I've created. And then let's say I want to also use a default style I created. I can just drag and drop it right inside here. And if I actually uh, pull this slightly to cover this particular section, uh, and let's play. In this video. So you can see uh, it's already a full size. We can just bring it down to fit uh, right inside here. Uh, what you can do is we can also move it up here. And now here's where some sort of magic happens. So let's say the first section, we won't have uh, anything specific. Let's say, uh, let's say we're actually going to have it till there. We begin uh, with the first style and then delete this one. Let's go to the start. If I play this. In this video, I'll show you how to add captions to your social media videos, TikToks, Reels, super fast. You can easily interchange uh, different styles depending on what you're working with. Or if you have uh, multiple, uh, let's say you're doing multicam footage and you have, uh, let's say, two people talking, 
one person can have one dynamic caption style that you've created for them and the other one can have the other dynamic caption style created for them uh, one thing i've noticed is not possible to kind of group this and save them uh, so you'll need to save each style individually uh, and so on and so forth now as i've mentioned there are a couple of things i don't like about this and number one it's not possible to export dynamic captions as srt uh, subtitle file and that's why i've always said as for the captions feature here and i'm actually going to use it uh, the speech to text uh, it's transcribing audio to text they are, they've mentioned they're using a new ai to do all this uh, let's just come here you see the way with speech to text it cuts in or cuts up uh, the different caption blocks uh, that it automatically creates if i zoom in uh, you'll see some sort of lines. These are different caption, caption blocks that are available. And if you see here, you'll see the duration, that is the in, the out, uh, the so on and so forth. And it's also possible uh, to kind of uh, narrow down and adjust everything as you want it to be. With dynamic captions, you're staring in the dark. Uh, you don't know what's going on. So it's really, really not possible to cut up things really quickly but with this you can actually adjust some sections you can change whatever you want for example if i come here just click on this press on s right inside there you'll see now this becomes its own block uh, without being attached to the other i wish this was possible with dynamic captions uh, and you are actually able to see what you're working on with dynamic captions you're in the dark and with these ones uh, with captions normal captions you can actually export it with dynamic captions it's not possible next issue i have is i wish it was also possible to convert srt subtitle files most people will probably create their srt subtitle files somewhere else maybe outsource to a transcription and captioning service uh, and just import right inside here and maybe they want to use the dynamic captions it would be awesome if you can be able to convert the srt to uh, like the dynamic captions or better yet and i've actually advocated this for years i feel that uh, the interface the uh, that pulls up when you click on a caption or a closed caption in camtasia is more or less uh, wasting our space here because one it obscures what we need to be seeing they should move this particular interface over to the properties panel because it's not uh, serving us any purposes and from right here we can actually be able to maybe move and see the properties really really well from this side so for uh, these different options the styles we can be able to have our own styles if possible we can also be able uh, to have the different if you want to have the text up here we can let's say you cut up this particular text where it is right there split and for this one there are properties where you can actually move the text up here these are actually uh, the dynamic options that are actually working that way but I hope that in future updates for the captions they should move this to this particular size uh, this particular side because there's more real estate there to actually work with although we can actually edit our subtitles here it would be awesome to have the features or the properties right on this side uh, because it does not make any sense to me right inside here there are actually a ton of things here that should actually be on this side and they can that can be easily missed when uh, you're creating captions so those are some of the few things uh being able to group the styles and so on and so forth uh what else do i think now uh i also find that let's see we got dynamic captions i find these dynamic caption uh transcript extremely rudimentary for lack of better words because you cannot adjust when the word comes in or goes out so this is really hectic uh, to work with uh, and i'm hoping that this is something that can actually change uh, in future versions or just make it better because as i've mentioned it would be easier to have the closed captions that you can edit resize this way and then just convert to dynamic captions it would have been much easier and then the styles are either well wherever they are but for the caption transcript you have it here and then you convert it to the dynamic caption transcript and you can also reconvert it to an srt or 
caption style, uh, the normal caption style, and just export as SRT file, VTT, or whatever caption style that you can actually export it to. So uh, those are some of the few things uh, because clearly uh, this is extremely rudimentary. You cannot adjust the word to kind of uh, be where you want it to be. It's what they've set for you. That is what you have to work with. Uh, it's highly welcome that you can create your own uh, styles here or whatever. Uh, but I wish they streamlined also to, on Windows to be able to save without uh, the style just going up here. I don't think many people will be able to see this user head down here. Uh, yeah, but with dynamic captions, you can have captions at the top, as at the bottom. You can involve uh, use of uh, multiple dynamic caption styles. You just need to know where to make your changes, make your cuts, and so on and so forth. Uh, but for this video, that is how the dynamic captions feature works in Camtasia for Windows uh, and also for Mac. A uh, couple of differences in that when saving, you can be able to rename on Mac, but on Windows, it just, go, it just goes straight. Uh, you can be able to save your favorite style in the favorites uh, tab for ease of use and so on and so forth. You can change a ton of things. So it's a highly welcome feature and addition in Camtasia 2024. Try it out and let me know if you found this video of value. Thank you so much for watching.